Hello everyone, welcome back to Overlord Raising Hell. As you can see, I have now the Mace of Doom, which we spent so long trying to get from the uh, from that last abyss, the Evernight Abyss. Today's episode, we're going to go to Heaven's Peak. Take a look at the Heaven's Peak Abyss. Alright, where is this abyss? I hear that the plague is subsiding. <laughs> An abyss has appeared here, hasn't it? As we said to find it. I have a quest dealing with this silent order group. Ah, there it is. I hear that the plague is subsiding. Blind. Oh, sire, our women went into this gate. Apart from Molly at the inn, that is. Even though those demons have gone, our girls won't come out. They say they're fed up with us. And I want my tea, and my tummy hurts, and my socks are full of holes. Please see if you can talk some sense into them, Dark Lord. How very progressive thinking of you. Right. Ooh, boy. Ah, uh, no, not more slugs. Oh, not you. That thing. What was its name again? I forget. Anyway, it opened up this abyss for us so we could get a bit of peace from those creatures of yours. Up in Heaven's Peak, it was succubus this, succubus that. Why don't you have wings like she's got? They look a bit enthralled to me. Now that filthy slug is oozing around and stopping our lackeys cleaning properly. They're useless at anything else. Can't arrange flowers. Can't even cross stitch a sampler. I'm trying my best, my lady. This is clearly some new breed of evil, sire. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. You wanted it gone, didn't you? Clean that up at once. You'll find the cleaning machine over there. You'll need more than a minion to operate that, Master. It's a known fact that paladins remove 99% of all household stains, including demon vomit, rabbit badger phlegm, and slug goo. Tell me more. <laughs> I think I could get a slug to eat me? It'd be doing me a favor. They're really angry. Ugh, I wish I'd never seen a succubus. It's your own fault, mate. Hello, they race? Oh, and one of those race reaper things. Hmm, well, this doesn't seem to be the way. There must be a way back. Alright, let's go the other way first.
I see fire. Well, somehow I doubt I could send. Oh. Greens. So I'm supposed to. I want you to try and hurt it with fire. I want you to lure them closer to the greens. This is going to be another one of those annoying things, isn't it? Sir William, how have you been doing since we last met? Yes, yes! That's a very fitting punishment! You cleaned up his mess, now he can clean up ours! This is very silly. Well, would you look at that, Val? He's done it. He's actually done it. Hmm. Perhaps you can be of use elsewhere. Let him through, girls! So I'll just schlep you throughout this entire area. We thought a bit of greenery around here would brighten the place up. Tea on the lawn, a spot of croquet, you know. But that stuff just keeps growing, and we're not mowing it. Play along, Shire. Play along. I know it's undignified, but we must lure this evil out in the open. The logic of this contraption baffles me. On that. Huh. Can you just light it on fire? You choose all. All right. So does this have to be done just quickly, or what? There we go. Very adequate. I guess there was just a time limit or something. Like he's a keeper, Mav. 
Could be, could be. Let's see what this dark creature can do about the parlor. A gasp of shock. Where are you going to go on that way? Let's see what's down here. I don't think this was the way that just opened, was it? I don't see a thing to strap Sir William into, so I don't think so. Okay then. Not much to have been seen down there. Let's go. Hold on just a moment. Stuff to break. I forgot about the exploding sheep. Halfway to heaven in just upside down. Blue. Oh, lots of them are exploding. There's a mold down there. I don't know what the purpose of all this faff was. Very good. You can now create the harvesting helmet, Lord. Put that on your head and you will be able to harvest more life force. That will be very useful. Oh, 
somehow. What's to be done over here? Rats. Now, how can we sit down for a nice bit of embroidery in a place like this? The snugs keep breeding and attracting the rats. I keep poking them with my knitting needles, but they won't go away. One almost feels sorry for them. The rats and slugs, that is. Consider these to be mercy killing, sire. Doesn't do anything. That one winked at me. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. I can't even look at them. Just tell me when they're dead. I can't even look at them. Just tell me when they're dead. Oh, it doesn't seem to be accomplishing anything. Push away, just make sure you clean up afterwards. There we go. You've really got the hang of this. But don't think you're coming up here without bringing us a present. Yes. As <sighs> bad as velvet. Smells nice. I think I have a few old eyeballs in my room, Lord. Or I could get Gabby to dig around in the dung pile. Try to make me wear this little leather outfit, Lord. Ooh. These women are terrifying. Save us from our female tyrants, oh dark one. Don't go near them. They've got some moves. Ah, there's the abyss stone. Lovely. That what's his name? Thingy beast will be so pleased to see what we've done with his abyss. <gasps> Unless you do something, sire, this place will be spewing out scatter cushions and floral prints. The horror. They're really angry. Ugh, I wish I'd never seen a succubus. Well, this seems to be the staging post. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it very much. In the next episode, we will finish this area off. I promise we won't drag on with it like 
Well, I guess you didn't see it all, but there was a lot of stuff that I had to cut out of those last two episodes. So, I'll see you all next time!